Hi everyone, it's Daniel here for Design Break, and today I'm talking about Lottie animations, um, and specifically for use in Webflow. Now, Webflow have some really great tutorials on how to uh, add Lottie animations and kind of in, into Webflow and how to create them in After Effects and import them over. Um, but one thing they don't cover really is uh, troubleshooting. So some of the issues that you might come up against if you are creating an animation in After Effects and then importing it into Webflow. So I'm going to talk about a few uh, issues that might arise, the difference between masks and shapes. Um, and just get into that today. Okay, so I'll jump over to the computer in just one second, um, but I, I just wanted to mention that this is really covering just SVG uh, animation because obviously Lottie animation can be uh, can include rasterized images and it can be frame by frame animation. So this really just applies to when you're working with SVG graphics. Um, so if you're creating logos um, using Path from Illustrator, that kind of thing. Okay, so I'll jump over to the computer now just to uh, talk through some of the issues you might come up against and how to solve them. Okay, so I've jumped over to the computer now. So um, we can see here I've got these logos um, and this logo here is what I want to take into After Effects. So the first thing I'll do is show you the easy way or, or the quickest way, um, kind of, I guess, the old school way of, of um, taking a vector logo over into After Effects. So if I double click into this group, um, you can see I've got just the, the vector paths here uh, for this logo. Um, so I'm gonna copy this and then I'm going to go over to After Effects. I'm going to create a new solid um, and we'll just make this blue. And then I'm going to just Command V uh, to paste that in. And the, the first issue you have here is that it's really small just because this is a f uh, 4K composition. So the, the way to fix that is at this stage, while everything's still selected, if you press Command T, that'll bring up your transform, um, the, the, tra the transform box. And if you zoom in so that you can uh, get one of these handles and press Command and Shift to keep the uh, logo centered and to maintain aspect ratio, scale it up and... Um, there you go, there, there is your logo in After Effects. And you'll notice that it's working fine if I just turn off masks, so we're not looking at the masks. You'll notice that there's no errors here with the um, uh, with the geometry, so that the center of these letters are cut out as they should be. Um, and if I just expand this, you'll see what it's created for us, which is a whole bunch of masks, all with the um, uh, sort of mask type set to difference here. One of the problems you might have is I've, I've already um, done the same thing. So this layer masks, as you can see, it's the same thing. It's got all these masks. I've just animated it just for the sake of showing it. it's a Lottie animation. So I've taken this exact thing and I've exported it as a Lottie animation. So when we open Webflow, if I uh, preview this, so this is the Lottie animation here. Um, I've already exported it through Body Moving. When I open this up, you'll notice that the centers are missing from this text. And that that's how, the way the masks work is what's causing that um, that issue. So what, what you need to do to fix this is to go into your um, masks and change the, the different masks from difference to add and subtract according to what they do. So for example, um, these letters that don't have any any cutouts in them, um, we'll be able to just select add and that will uh, make sure we have no issues. But let's, when we get to the E, um, this, this mask here is the outside of the E, so it would be add. And then the center of the E, the, the pink center, should be subtract. And one thing to be uh, aware of is that if these masks are in a different order, you'll notice that the, the cutout isn't working there. So some um, sometimes when you take uh, files over from Illustrator, the order gets shifted around. So you can end up, even if you've done the add and subtract correctly, you'll get this issue here where um, it's not actually subtracting. So they just have to be careful with the order to make sure that the subtract comes after the add in the uh, in the order. So you can go through that and, and create the um, create the path there. So this gives us uh, effectively a vector path. Now the way, um, I, I don't know exactly how body moving works, but um, which is the, the plugin by the way that plugs into After Effects and creates a lot of animations from these uh, compositions. Um, but I think it, 
it almost has its own internal conversion that takes these paths to and converts them into shapes. And I'll show you uh, what I mean by this, which is what I've done after the animation where this just animates up, it then animates up to uh, 3000, <laughs> a scale of 3000%. So you'll notice that in a, an After Effects composition, you get these this pixelation around, even though this is a 4K um, composition, you've got this really bad pixelation here. Um, but that doesn't actually matter if you're exporting to, if you are only exporting it to Lottie. So if you're b building something specifically for Lottie, it's not going to be rendered out using the normal After Effects render engine. Um, then you, you, I've, I've done an example of this actually just further down here, which is um, masks scaled. So if I preview this and scroll down, you'll notice that when it scales up, all these lines are still super sharp. This was before I'd fixed the, uh, before I'd fixed the cutout, just to show the, the, the example. Um, so everything's super sharp, no issues there. Um, so like I say, it's fine if you're only uh, exporting to Lottie. Okay, so, so that's one way to the logo, but what if you've got a logo that has multiple colors in it, um, or if you want to do a bit more with it, and I'd probably say this is the proper way to do it, because this is kind of the quick and dirty old school method. So the, the proper way to do it um, would be to do this. So we have the same logo here in Illustrator. Um, I would create a new file. Okay, so once I've got the paths um, selected here, or uh, isolated, just in their own artboard or on their own file. I'll just save that out as a regular .ai file. Um, then I'll come over here to After Effects and we'll find that file. This is it here, logo for shape. If I just drag this out, um, it's gonna ask um, how we want to import this. And what you want to click is footage merged layers. Um, click OK and that will import the logo for shape AI file. Um, so if we head over to the second comp, I've put the blue background on here so we can see it because obviously the, um, the logo is white. So if we drag that out, um, we'll see that we get the logo there. Um, but what you won't have is shapes in here. So there are no shapes, there's no vector paths in here uh, for us to manipulate. So it's actually really simple to um, to fix that. You just right click and you want to hit create, create shapes from vector layer. And so when we do that, it'll create a new layer and it will also hide the layer that you just created. If you want to, you can actually even delete that layer at this point um, because inside here are all of our shapes. So if you open up contents, um, you've got these uh, different groups and, and that's that's basically all the, the shapes that are required to create this logo. And so if the logo also had colors, that would also come across as well. So um, what I will do as an example here is create some uh, color variation in this logo. This is going to look terrible. Okay, so now we've got two different colors, and we have the um, and we have the text here. So we'll go file, um, save a copy, and we'll save this as logo for shape two dot ai. Click OK. Go back to After Effects, and so we'll delete the one we just created. We'll uh, Add this, just drag and drop in. We'll use footage, merge layers, click OK, drag this out. And so now you can see we've got the colors there. And even if we do right click, create shapes from vector layer, you can see that the, um, the colors have maintained. And now if I go to the scale and I scale that to 3000 times, You'll see that the because it's a shape layer, everything, even if I was to export this as a regular uh, After Effects composition, all the lines are super sharp uh, because it's a shape layer. And I've scaled it, scaled it so much you can't see, but you can see now that the colors have also come across. So then what that allows you to do is open this up um, and you can now you know play about with the the fill and make animations in here to the different fill colors there's you can basically manipulate this in any way you normal way you can with after effects um so so that's probably the best way and uh, definitely kind of the recommended route for taking files in but it does take a little bit longer with saving out the file and can create vector layers so if especially if you had a simple logo that was just some type um, that you just needed to make a couple of amendments to. It sometimes is faster just to do the mask 
masks route. Um, one other point that I would make about the masks um, method is that when you're in the masks here, and we mentioned the scale, when you get up to the scale that you get this pixelation, um, the way that you would always just fix this um, <laughs> is you would um, highlight all the masks. So if you've got all the masks there, um, and then do command T to get your transform window. And you would scale that up really large. And then from there, then scale it back down to the size that you need just using the, the scale tool. So now you're going to have a, a perfectly uh, sharp um, file, and no matter how, how big it is, as long as you don't have to go above 100%. Um, but yeah, definitely shapes is the, is the best way to do it. So uh, I've created an, an example here just showing the, uh, the logo here. So that's just the shapes just converted. So no extra uh, work is needed. All you have to do is convert the shapes and that adds the animation there. So that was it and I hope it was somewhat helpful. Um, if you've created something really cool in Lottie and Webflow, then drop it down in the comments. I'll definitely check it out. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.